the Den with the TRU Wolfpack. The Wolfpack men's volleyball team back at the Tournament Capital Center this weekend for a double header starting tomorrow night, trying to bounce back after falling one spot in the national rankings. The 11 and 5 pack have a stiff challenge, though facing the best team in all of the Canada West, the 15 and 1 Trinity Western University Spartans. TRU's coming off a split at Manitoba last weekend, dropping from fourth to fifth in the national CIS rankings. The Wolfpack currently locked in a three-way tie for second place with Alberta and UBC and can stay, take one step closer to securing a home playoff date if they can win one or both against the Spartans this weekend. Meanwhile, the winless women are up against the 12-4 and 4 Spartans at the Tournament Capital Center as well tomorrow night. TRU actually won its first set of the season, a 26-24 third set win last Friday at Manitoba in their first weekend under new interim coach, head coach, uh, Chad Grimm. TRU hockey team also at home for a second straight weekend, hosting Simon Fraser University for back-to-back -back meetings against the league's best team. With four wins in the last five games, the Wolfpack are only two points back of the clan for top spot overall, and only one point behind Selkirk College for second. The Wolfpack took care of SFU 3-1 on the road two weekends ago in Burnaby. The puck drops tomorrow at 8.30 at Memorial Arena and Saturday at 8. Meanwhile, the TRU basketball teams will be the only teams to hit the road this weekend, a key two-game set for both the men and women in Langley. Wolfpack women currently sit in fourth place in the Pacific Division at 7-7. Seven and seven. Coming off a weekend where they were swept at home by the division-leading University of the Fraser Valley Cascades. But they're coming off some success against the Spartans going into Langley on New Year's Eve and winning 73-52. It's also a big weekend for the men who were tied for third with Mount Royal and Trinity Western at 7-7. Seven and seven. And they've lost three out of the last four to start the new year, including back-to-back -back losses last weekend at home against the University of, of the Fraser Valley. The basketball teams, rather, are back home to the tournament capital next Friday against Manitoba. Time now to meet your Wolfpack with a TRU player profile. In his fourth year as a Wolfpack, Casey Knight is settling in quite nicely in a starting role on the right side. Standing six foot eight, Knight has been a key force in TRU's breakout season. But volleyball wasn't Knight's first sport of choice. Starting out as a basketball player, Knight quickly made the switch and hasn't looked back. I was originally playing basketball and my high school coach went, hey, you know what, you're tall. Like, I really think like you're perfect for volleyball. I know you'd be great. And I was like, ah, you know what? Sure, I'll give it a shot. So I came out and I instantly loved it just because it is the quintessential team sport. And Knight is certainly glad he made the switch, although he wasn't always destined for Kamloops and TRU. Growing up and playing volleyball on Salt Spring Island, Knight was not heavily recruited, receiving offers only from small colleges in BC until a tournament in Victoria. I played for Salt Spring Island, so we didn't have a really big, well-known team. I got quite a few offers from smaller universities, VIU, Camosa, and stuff like that. And when I was playing in a Camosa tournament, their captain came up to me and said, hey, you know what, I think you're better than the college league. Uh, I think you should really talk to Pat Henley, because he had played for Pat previously and gave me his email. I sent him off a video, and Pat contacted me. And Knight was so highly regarded by Wolfpack head coach Pat Henley that Henley didn't even bother watching game action of Knight. He was just so confident he'd grow up into the player he is today. It was Pat just showing a vote of confidence, going, hey, you know what, the kid's six foot eight. He's probably going to get a little more coordinated as we go. So he, it was unfortunate because he came out to watch me at BC Provincials, and I ended up coming down with stomach flu, and I wasn't able to play. But I think it was Pat just showing confidence in the, ty the type of person I could be and seeing the potential. Off the court, Knight looks up to his parents, who he says are the two people in the entire world he'd want to have dinner with. You know, I've been through the phase, like, you don't want to be with your parents at all kind of thing, and now I can't appreciate the time that I have with them enough. I don't see them enough, and every time we have dinner, we literally sit at the table for four hours just talking about nothing, and that's one of the things I enjoy the most. Looking for a fun and affordable time out with your family? Take in a TRU Wolfpack game. Schedule scores and news about the TRU Wolfpack team are online. Or phone 377-6116 for more information. TRU, it's your university. 
in the den with the TRU Wolfpack. Enjoy great sporting events at affordable family places. Check out tru.ca slash athletics for details. 